Hey, what's up guys, XV Nightwing here with another achievement guide on the new Buried Map on Black Ops 2. In this video, I'll be covering how to get the Awake, Awake in the Gazebo uh, achievement. Uh, be prepared, it is a long and tedious achievement. Um, so what you want to do first is grab the chalk and put down the Remington. You will get a thousand points from this. Um, so yeah, I, it took me half an hour to get this achievement. Um, it may take you a little bit quicker because you're watching this video. But what you want to do is open the general store and start building the trample steamer. Um, this achievement is, it's not very hard I guess, the only hard part is going through the ghost house, um, because if you do get hit once you have to do it all again, it is, um, it just takes a lot of time to complete, um, so there's a second part on the shelf, I have made a video on how to build this, so if you've forgotten or something, um, go check that out, it will be in the description as well, um, so now the zombies are spawning a little bit, so you want to kill five of them. You don't want to kill the sixth one, you don't want to shoot it at all. It has to have 100% health um, in order for it to respawn. Because if it if it gets shot once, it won't respawn, it'll just die off and you have to restart the whole thing. Now I'm not like, I'm not shooting them exactly eight times. You can shoot them eight times in the leg and then knife them. So there's 210 points a kill. But um, this is my first time playing through it and I wasn't doing it um, precisely and um, on the bullet. So you kill five zombies and they leave the six completely like you just you just don't touch it okay so there's the uh, third part which is the base of the trample steamer um, and then we'll get on to the fourth part you just have to make sure that they don't win windmill swipe you because um, I have had times with this that they do windmill swipe you and hit you twice straight up and you are dead um, so there's the uh, fourth part to the trample steamer um, the, f the next step, you don't need the trample steamer, I use it because it is much quicker to do rather than um, just jumping over. So what you want to do is go over to the barn, over the rooftops and place it in this exact spot. Um, it is optional, you can jump over but it does take a lot to get used to. I prefer just to put the trample steamer down and just jump over. But you will need it in the later steps and I will show you um, where that is. So you jump over to the gunsmith roof and you go downstairs and pick up your first piece of chalk. Now the chalk is essential to getting this achievement. You get a thousand points each time you put down a piece of chalk and then an extra two thousand points once you put down the final piece of chalk. So we will be putting all, all the chalk pieces down. Um, so what you want to do is put this ch chalk piece here. I have split this clip into two pieces um, so it may look like um, I have got, had two pieces of chalk. So you want to put the second one um, up where you built the trample steamer and then go back and pick up your third piece of chalk um, so yeah it does take a while um, to jump over all the rooftops so that's why it's a long achievement so you have to go all the way around all the way around every single time to pick up a piece of chalk so there's our third piece of chalk in the gunsmith and this third one you want to go to the saloon so all you have to do is you have to go all the way back around um, into the barn, but you don't want to go on the trample, trample stem, you want to um, drop down um, onto the base of the barn. You don't have to pick up your trample stem either, I just did it because I thought I might need it, but I didn't eventually. So, what you want to do is go down this tunnel pathway, um, heading towards the saloon. Um, there is a jump that you need to make up ahead. If you do miss this, you can die, um, in some cases I have, but you want to just be careful about the jump and make it good, I guess. Um, now the chalk piece is on the outside, on the balcony, um, across from the power. Now what I did stupidly here was that I jumped down and then I had to go all the way around again. But I split the clip up and you guys don't have to sneak around all the way around, but you guys will if you do not turn on the power. Then power is essential to getting this achievement, obviously by uh, pack punching the weapon you need to have the power on. So now what you want to do now is grab the trample stem I already have and I've already grabbed the chalk piece as well. You guys will need to grab a chalk piece and then you want to jump over onto the courthouse and put down your fourth piece of chalk.
Uh, for the fifth part, you need to um, get Huckleberry out of the jail cell. I'm sure you guys already know how to do that. And if um, double check that there is uh, is or if is not a booze in the jail cell that has respawned. If not, you're gonna have to jump down to the saloon and grab a free booze. It should be there. Um, if not, you're gonna have to restart all over again. So you need that. You need the booze, and you should need the uh, B23R. You can pick up any other gun, but I prefer the B23R against the um, the ghost or the the girl, or the mansion, or whatever you want to call her. And then you want to jump down here with your trample stamp. You do not want to jump down here without the trample steamer because you cannot get back. So what you want to do is give Huckleberry the booze um, ha and also have him facing the church. Um, so that opens that up and then you want to place your trample steamer down here and jump over the barrier. Um, I don't know if they will patch this um, but they might so quickly get it before they patch it. So what you want to do is jump over at, like I did. Um, so yeah that's what you can do without the trample steamer but it does take a lot um, of getting used to and you can fuck up a couple times so that's why I put it down because if you do fuck up you have to go all the way back around so what you want to do is take the riddle I took through the general store um, back to the church which you've already opened with Huckleberry and put down your final piece of chalk this will give you 2000 points and get you up to at least six, over 6500 points um, you need um, at least 1250 to open the door and then an extra 5000 to back punch your gun. Um, so if you do get hit by the witch at least once, or the, the ghost, sorry, why am I talking about the witch? Um, so yeah, if you get hit once, you have to restart the whole achievement again. So what you're going to do is jump over here with the trample steamer and be prepared before you get in this um, the house, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I'm relaxing my fingers, whatever you want to do. Um, so you want to be quick and you want to be careful. Now I do fuck up a couple times here but I do not get hit. So I have to reload here. But you just want to back away. I get really lucky here. She did not hit me. I don't know, know why but she didn't hit me. So you just want to wait. If she hasn't spawned you, double check behind you that she's not creeping up behind you. But you just want to keep pushing her forward. Pre-aim and pre-fire whenever you turn a corner. So in this last part here, you want to shoot that ghost right there and sprint out of the house. Now you want to wait outside the house. Looking at the... Um, where you just jump down and wait for her to come. Now you can um, kill her up to three times um, after you leave the house, but as soon as that perk drops, that means that she has uh, vanished. Uh, you finish her, and that's it. That's you just have to make your way through the maze with your 5,000 points and pack a bunch of your weapon. And that's it, guys. 30 G's, 30 gamer score. Awaken the gazebo. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like if you have. Subscribe if you're new and you want more videos. And until next time, night we out. Don't bring me back